Only on 8 tonight, the hero behind this gator attack. An 85-year-old Lakeland man is alive thanks to a Canadian tourist who saved the day. Talk about a terrifying moment here. That tourist telling us that he and his wife were on a walk Monday when they saw the alligator nearly 10 feet long attacking the man. Melanie Michael is joining us live tonight with the rest of this remarkable story. Mel. Hey, Keith, good evening to you. That Canadian tourist being hailed a hero tonight, describing what he saw as unbelievable. It was a day Scott Pearson and his wife will always remember during a vacation they'll never forget. The Canadian couple visiting Scott's parents in Lakeland for the holidays. On Monday, Scott and Andrea Pearson decided to go for a walk when they got the shock of a lifetime. First reaction was, I, I can't believe this is what I'm seeing. It was surreal. Is the only way I could sum it up. It was, it was like right out of a movie. Scott was stunned by what he saw in the Cypress Lakes retirement community. An 85 year old man struggling as a giant alligator had the man's foot in its mouth. It, it was, it was flailing. Like I, I can remember seeing the underbelly of the gator. So we knew it was. This was real. Scott's adrenaline was racing as he and his wife called 911 and ran to the rescue. Luckily, the gator let go. Then Scott ripped off his shirt, using it as a tourniquet to save the man's life just in time. We just kind of looked at each other and said, all right, let's go. In the end, the 85-year-old survived. George Isle was visited by the Polk County deputies who responded to the 911 call. The victim, grateful for them, and the Canadian tourist who saved the day. My goodness, what a story. And you know, we asked Scott, do you feel like a hero? He said he doesn't, but he had high praise for the first responders who answered that 911 call saying they acted quickly and they indeed saved a life. I'm Melanie Michael, live tonight, News Channel 8.